two, part two, two for us. Look at the fidget spins. Are we on? Oh my God, I always get excited for the a new season, for the first episode of a new season. <laughs> Everyone looks different. That's true. So much has happened. That's true. They put good content into the first season, first episode. Yes. Like we get to see new looks, new plastic surgery, new hairstyles, new fashion sense, new fame. All good points. I totally agree. I do. You know that moment when you realize there's no going back and that your life is forever changed? That was me at the end of last summer. My heart truly broke for the first time. Alex and I were together on and off for three years. There were a lot of good times. Do you want it to just be you and me? Yeah. But a lot of dark ones too. Is it not obvious that I don't want you hooking up with my friends? This is how he always gets away with murder because he makes the girl feel guilty. It was so hard for me to let go. I literally walked around him sleeping with a girl. How did you you literally treat random other girl for girls like they're your girlfriend. I treat you like a princess. I mean, really? Because you cheated on me a hundred million times. <laughs> I also received a video of Alex making out with a girl. He was my first love. That's great. It's finally over. I don't trust you. We shouldn't see each other for a long time. This summer, I've made up my mind to start over. No baggage, no bull, and most importantly, no Alex. I mean, how hard could it be, right? It's gonna be hard. When do you think this is gonna be, like, winter break? Or, like, an, like another year? Oh, oh, wow, a year. Ooh, dry calluses. Hi. They say the day you graduate from college is the first day of the rest of your life. Exactly. Exactly. And after everything I've gone through the last few years, I'm so excited to finally leave the past behind me and start living. Cheers, Juliet. Cheers. Congratulations. We're proud of you. Her family's cute. Uh -huh. So do you have any plans for the summer? I have some plans. Um, I would love to see you go on to law school, something yeah. like that, because I think you have the skill set for these so, sorts of my friend's opening up a boutique. She's like, actually, stop complimenting me. Here's what's going to happen, Dad. I'm working at a boutique. <laughs> it's called Blend. Blend? I'm going to see how I feel about fashion and if it's something I'm interested in. Really, you're just going to be selling clothes? It's so much more than just selling clothes. I'll be doing the buying, the marketing. She wants to open in LA, New York, and create a big brand. So I'm really excited to be a part of that. But okay. I'm kind of yeah. nervous to go back to CSTP though, because you know it's Alex's world. And have you talked to him at all lately? I haven't talked to Alex in a long time. Like no communication. I hear he's in Europe for the summer. Yeah. Yeah. It was hard really hard hard yeah. to see you last summer. Yeah. Bird. Yo. We need to release it. Bird. Look at this bird. Th so this bird is like stuck. It like doesn't realize I feel that it can get fly a video through it. the alleyway and go up, but no, it keeps it, on. It's, it's seeing itself in the reflection and like attacking itself. Oh, he went up. Yeah. He'll be back. He's fucked up our window. Pooped on our thing. He likes that spot. Interesting. Pew, pew, pew. Those are the sounds I make when I sit. I'm not over him completely, but I'm just gonna live my life. And I met this guy, Robbie. Do you think he used to have, oh my God, Robbie. Boyfriend. And he might look a little familiar. Yep, Robbie was on The Bachelorette. Things are going really well between us, so I can definitely say I'm in a good place. Well, you know what I'm gonna tell you, Juliet? I'm gonna say, slow down and make sure that, you know, you, you know what they say. No, what Best do they say? Best way to get over someone is get under someone else. Oh, God.
Hmm. Um, yeah, go. Yeah. This song is gonna go dinged. It's, imagine you're listening to Lizzo. It seems really recent. Oh my God, right. These two are best friends now. Who? Oh. Juliet and Kelsey. What? Remember, no. Yes. Don't spoil us, babes. <sighs> Who'd have thought I'd be living in Siesta? Oh, <laughs> new face, right? Uh, bigger lips. All right. I like it though. I know, it's been so far so good. <laughs> oh God, wow. same awkward like position she stuffs it in. Can you believe that me and Kelsey are roommates? What's even crazier is we're actually friends. We got really close after we realized that our past drama was all just so dumb. I only came back here to talk to you, so. And a little embarrassing. Oh, I've had so much fun. It's nice and I like our house a lot. Any excuse to party this summer, we're taking advantage. Yeah. So where do you and Robbie stand? Can you stop it? I just I love I want to get thing. You know, we're a thing. Yeah. But like I'm kind of worried because Alex and Robbie used to be friends. Up oh, the bird's back. Mm-hmm. Has he left at all? See that? No, he's been there for four days. Yeah, he Maybe. leaves. He, he leaves, leaves and comes back. My new boyfriend used to be friends with Alex back in the day. Back but in I the day. But I met him through Kelsey, who was currently working with him at Rebella. Rebella is a social media influencing company, and he is the owner. Our fearless leader right here is also a part-time model. He's hot and successful. It couldn't be more perfect. Isn't Rubella a disease? <laughs> of you like being with Robbie. He's not happy. Yeah, I would. I mean, he's not gonna be happy if I'm with anybody though. Truthfully, like meeting Robbie has helped me get over Alex a lot. Hold up, what is the deal with Chloe being friends with Alex again? Yeah, she just went, <laughs> Chloe, what the f was that? How do you get your tongue? I've never seen a human do that. I think it just seems really shady. Oh, it's Chloe what? getting out of his car. Oh my God, he was mm. taking her shopping. Neemans. My body's been shopping. I know, right? I know, it's been, it was me. Dear how Chloe was a thousand percent team Juliet. It's not how a man should treat his girlfriend. That's disgusting. You're disgusting. Everybody in our group knows you cheated on Juliet. I'm the only one that's woman and enough everyone. to admit to you what everyone says behind your back. Well, after Alex and I broke up, Chloe jumped right back to Team Alex. And now, she and I barely even talk. Where have you been? Well, Alex said that pretty much all he brought to Europe was camo shorts and t-shirts. <laughs> like, everyone in Europe dresses so nice, so I was like, okay, well, let me go get you some higher-end stuff. This was so sweet of you, Chloe. What do we owe you? It's, it's, I'm so distracted by her face and neck color contrast. <laughs> oh, he nice. left me his credit card, actually. Oh, well, you should treat yourself. Oh, well, maybe That's what I, I will. Would. You deserve it. <laughs> What's even crazier is she's running around town acting like she's Mrs. Compo. It's so delusional. Weird. He's having so much fun. I think he needed it to get his mind off of yeah. everything with Julia. In that relationship, it was just yeah. so toxic. And Oh, I agree. Have you seen her? Not at all, really? actually. But I have been seeing, like, on social media, I guess Juliet's seeing someone now. Huh. His name's Robbie Hayes. Whoa. Robbie and Juliet, they're both posting, like, kissing pictures. And to me, it just seems like, are you two really, like, happy? Or is it more like Juliet trying to get back at Alex? Yeah, and rebound kind of thing. I mean, who knows? Why are you hitting beats with Alex's mom? Yeah. That was a bad idea. Just, I think, like, a round of people about Robbie saying Robbie's not a good person. I mean, she also is probably hearing this from Alex. I'm so happy Alex and I were able to move past everything because it got so bad between him and I, and I just felt like Juliet always players. was coming to me with like negative, 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 negative. And right. it like, for me, I'm like, well, this girl's like my little sister. It's almost like Juliet like penned Alex and I against each other. <sighs> Delish. Chloe, what are you thinking? Yeah. Like, she's not gonna marry you, dog. When Alex comes back to town, those two are gonna be trouble. 
I don't know, I'm honestly kind of hurt by her because, you know, I was there for her so much, and now she really doesn't call me at all. And, oh, my God. But, well. you know, now she's having a graduation party, and she invited me, so, like, I'm excited to see her and, like, maybe see where her head's at. You'll have to get the tea about what's going on. Oh, yeah, yeah. you know I'll tell you. <laughs> I'm excited to see everyone and like Madison. She's been like taking acting classes and all that in LA and she's been out there for like all of winter. That's awesome. Yeah. Huh? I'm gonna try Manhattan. You should try Manhattan. I feel like that makes me very sophisticated. Baby, look what you've done to me. We've all changed since last summer especially Madison. I mean, would you be willing to give it another shot? Hey, yes. After last summer, Madison totally bailed on BG and left Siesta Key for LA. She said it was to take acting classes, but I'd say it was because of a man. <laughs> no, a literal man. <laughs> oh, what is that? <laughs> oh, we'll find out. We love you. We're not there yet. What's on your nose, bro? Ah, he's good. Fell on yeah. his nose. For your big debut? Get it off your nose. He's nap, got a Alex. booger on the end of his nose. Ish, who has boogers that dark? Just kidding, I love <laughs> I bet you're wondering whose dad this is. But no, this is Madison's new boyfriend. And this is where it gets weird. He used to be our producer. Oh. As in the producer of the show you're watching. When he worked with us way back in the beginning, we all knew Madison had a crush on him, but none of us ever thought they would start dating. And now that he lives in LA, I guess Madison couldn't stay away. When you go home, what are you gonna do? You know, I wanna like be able to tell everyone that we're... Dating? So, can you come see everybody in Siesta Key before you go off to Canada? Um... I mean, I would, listen, here's the thing. It's gonna be awkward and I know like, you know, I just don't want it to be uncomfortable for you. No, and I get that, but like, I want everyone to see us in the context of dating rather than you just being a producer on the show. Like, Not your producer. They have broken they have. the fourth wall. But I want people to see. Yeah. I think I could probably make it work. Really? Oh my God. Yeah. It's gonna throw a lot of people off. Like in a good way, I hope. No, Madison. Well, bad. Yeah. My biggest concern is not so much your group of friends, but my biggest concern is more your parents. I think the age is going to be the biggest thing. You know, whatever. What else is there? People can either accept it or And age-wise, like, he's probably 45, and she's probably 25. Coming up. He's your boyfriend? I'm gonna freak the f out. One, you're not my type of person. It is you're not mine either. Everything yeah, that she got a nose job. Mouth, it just seems like he's Who got a nose job? Kara. When you dumped me, that was devastating. It's not what I wanted to do. How the f am I supposed to feel about that? I'm sorry. She didn't need the dumps. No. More Lizzo? Just more Lizzo. God dang it. Private plane. Oh my god, she has a bandage on her nose. Oh my so god. they're they're breaking that fourth wall too. Yeah. She had tape on her luggage. <laughs> Ooh, is that Burbank? I don't know if I go back and see us. Well, nice to see you. How do you like it out there? I love it. I mean, I've been in acting classes, uh -huh. an improv class, and then a scene study class. And I am seeing someone new. You are? Yes. He's working up in Canada for the summer, so uh -huh. he's gonna come to Siesta Key. What? Um, what? Yeah. He gets to meet you and see mom, and then mm -hmm. he's gonna go off to Canada. Yeah, and he is eager to meet you. Okay. Yeah, fine. Just warn him. I'm a dad with four daughters, and I'm the last. I'm very good at interrogation. Paige, Madison, Stephanie, and Erica. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're a lawyer. Let's 
something happen there? Holly? Oh, oh no, dude. We were just talking about it. He totally wants to impress Madison. Shit his head. Damn, bro. Did you say damn girl to yeah, himself? Yeah. Wait, let's go back and double check that. Damn, bro. <laughs> he did say damn girl to himself. Yeah, I think he's saying like. Like, get ready, girl. You don't know how good I'm about to no, look. No, I think he's like, damn, girl. Like, I can't believe I'm cutting all this hair off. And my head literally feels like two pounds lighter. The only problem is, like, I'm still gonna look better than you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to set any expectations on the summer. I'm just trying to have fun. I mean, last summer, everybody was in a relationship, but everybody this summer is single. Well, have you seen Madison recently? No, nah, man, last time I talked to her is when she said she doesn't want to do this anymore. And then she moved to LA to go model and act, and I hear she's, like, talking to another guy out there, and... Do you know who the dude is that she's talking to, or what? I have no idea who the dude is, bro, to be honest. She's obviously gonna go to Juliet's party, so... He's yeah, gonna freak so. out. <sighs> wow. So pretty. Yeah. Do you have a dry rosé? Uh-huh. Perfect. So That's the kind of drink I like. Since Madison's new hair. moved back to the key after her stint in LA. Look how blonde you Look are! Look how tan you are! She and Chloe are going to be roommates. Good luck with that, Madison. Oh my god, I can't believe you're finally here. And I want to hear everything. I feel like I've missed out on all of the Siesta Key gossip. You definitely know that Alex and Juliet are broken up, done, done, done. Oh, for sure. Yeah. You know about Robbie Hayes. I know who Robbie Hayes is. He won The Bachelorette. He used to live in Siesta Key. Yeah. And now he started this influencer business. Rubella contacted Kelsey. Now that Kelsey's friends with him, now he's been introduced to Juliet. And I think the fact she's moving on with somebody that you Thanks for that, Recap. With Alex we already knew it. Could be a problem. Wait, what? Aren't you supposed to not know? Yeah. I mean, Alex has, like, mentioned to me, like, I don't know who this Robbie kid thinks he is. Okay, wait. That means you're talking to Alex. Mm-hmm. I shop for him. I just couldn't stand to watch him treat Juliet the way he did. That relationship brought out the worst in both of them. I mean, if she has a problem with me being friends with Alex again, like, that's on her, so. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to move over there? Yeah. Well, what's up? Well, we have to tell you something. I've been seeing someone. <laughs> Do I know who it is? <laughs> You're freaking me out. I'm dating our producer-ish. <laughs> I can't. It's like, okay, do you remember him from season one? I can't. You guys, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> Is he about to walk out? Because no. if he walks out, I will have a Okay, so he's not here right now, but he's gonna come to- No! <laughs> you guys, I can't. I'm going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> your boyfriend? I'm gonna freak the It's so out. nice to see them act real. Uh -huh. uh -huh. We're doing the long Ish. With the bald head. The shaved head. Ish. This is nuts. Hold on. Hold on one second. I need this dry rose. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit, no. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How old is he? 46. She's probably 22. It's fine. He could be our dad. Shut <laughs> the f up. Shut <laughs> I'm freaking the f out, Madison. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous to like bring him to Juliet's graduation party. Wait, 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 wait. Does Brandon not know? I haven't told Brandon yet. Like, yes, I'm nervous to tell Brandon. Like, I don't want to hurt him again. But like Ish is coming to Siesta Key and he's gonna meet our friend group and like my parents as my boyfriend. And that's this is nuts. Yeah. Producers don't go on shows. <laughs> Holy that's so much better. Shit. What gets taped up? Like, is that where the cut is? Mm, no, I think it acts as like a cast kind of a thing. Got you some flowers and cookies. That was nice. Garrett and Kara ended last summer on the rocks. It's my party and you're standing there with your ex-girlfriend? 
Matt, you stupid f Like, do you think at all? Do you? And it didn't help that Kara fled to Jersey right after that. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. You're not gonna be going on any dates, are you? I guess they were kind of on and off all year, but word is, they barely spoke the whole time she was away. Now Kara's back in Siesta for the summer, and from what I hear, they're just gonna try to pick up from where they left off. Pretty. How's Jersey? Good. You wouldn't know that because you never asked, but it was fine. Oh. What, uh, what else is new? Nothing. I know Juliet's graduation party's coming up. Should be fun. Yeah. Get around everybody again. Yeah, I know. I don't know if I'm ready for it. I'm, like, so not excited to see Kelsey. OK. I get it. You don't like her. You don't gotta keep telling me. Okay. I it should just like be like it. left alone. I don't. You don't want to go out of, of my way to have problems with her. I'm just. I mean, if you don't like the girl's name, then keep it out of your mouth. And like, why do you gotta keep Ew, bringing it can up? Can you stop defending her? Keep her name out of my mouth. Yeah, like don't talk about her if you don't want to. You know. Just keep defending your skanky ex-girlfriend. It's fine. I'm not defending her. Stop thinking that. I don't like her. I don't like her talking to you. <laughs> All right, we know. Obviously, we have things that we need to talk about. Yes, we definitely do. Yeah, I think you guys should maybe break up now. Yeah. <laughs> the spark is over. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go outside and talk about them. So. So. You haven't mentioned anything about my nose. Looks great. Thanks. Did you, were you just not gonna say anything ever? Or? You should know that I know. You look great all the time. Okay, well, you're maybe supposed to say something after I get a nose job. Yeah, very. So obviously, like, I know we're... He's a like, subject change. <laughs> you know, ever since we broke up. We broke up? Oh, no. I broke up with you. There you go. I broke up with you when you went to Jersey. Yeah, two days after I went home you decided to dump me yeah the long distance sucks we're just getting into our relationship then have to be away from each other it's not ideal he didn't Obviously, ever want to do it made things work and not giving up on us so like i know i broke up with you and you, i definitely know that you don't want to say i love you anymore yeah because so. i don't trust you now after that I'm not saying it. Alicia Cara, out of love, probably dinged. When it comes to moving forward, I can't give you an answer on that right now, but I'm also not ready to lose you. I guess we'll just see where things go now that I'm back. Yeah, she got her lips done and her nose done. Oh my god, is it a Kentucky Whoa. Derby themed beach party? I'm gonna treat her a lot better than the previous no, person. Worry. We've been told that before. Robbie. And what are you gonna get to eat? Probably the filet. Getting over Alex Smart. was the hardest thing that. I've ever had to do. I love being around him. You mean you in love with him? Do I love him? I thought I'd never love again. You're an idiot. You think you did nothing wrong? You're an idiot! But then I met Robbie. He's the first guy that makes me think I can actually move on and be happy again. They just filmed themselves How kissing. Was the today? It went well. Where it's better to shoot than the best beach in America, right? It's beautiful out here. I'm just like, I'm annoyed about Juliet dating this Robbie kid. Oh, it's weird. All I really know about him is he used to hang out with like Alex back in high school. Yeah. 
And then I really don't know anything about him other than he was like on The Bachelorette and like. I heard he lies about his age. Really? He like, tells he was, everyone like, he's 29 and he's like 32 or something. Why? Because oh. he's going after 22 year old girls. Can't get out of his 20s. I have an empty fridge. You want to take me grocery shopping? Mm -hmm. That's a quick yes. Let's do it. I was planning on doing that anyway. Yeah. He's saying he's six foot one. It's no way this guy's six foot one. His all time favorite films include The Wolf of Wall Street. Isn't that where they like con people for money? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, where are you going with Rebella? Do you have like high oh. hopes? Very high hopes. She knows nothing about him, so she's <laughs> just making fun of his like stats online. <laughs> Yeah. Lion Island right next to Richard Branson and we'll just you know hang out there all the time yeah and it's for you know being just a year old I think we're in a fantastic place you are are you rich are you gonna be rich I need to know those things I did not find any of that odd I have no idea because guess who hasn't even texted me in the last like month and a half it's honestly a little hurtful, but I just don't think like her graduation is the time to sit her down and be like, what's going on with me and you? Because I'm yeah. feeling neglected. I agree with that. Cause that's like her day. You want her to have a good time. So maybe I'll just sit Robbie down and grill him instead. So are you looking forward to meeting my friends at the grad party? Is uh, Alex gonna be there? He shouldn't be there. Yeah, why would he be there? I know Alex, we were friends. I've been on his boat, we met his parents. A weak man will never be able to handle a woman with a strong personality. I like that. Even that's though how he you knows think. exactly what you represent. You're beautiful, yeah. you're well educated, you deserve better. I'm gonna be nice, but you know me, I can read people and I can smell their bull. But from I think a mile everyone away. can smell this kid's bull. Like, something's just a little it's, bit it's off. It's very fishy. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Robbie's weird. You wanna go out to the beach for sunset? Let's do it. I'm only comfortable doing drinking champagne on the beach, like that's what we did at the Bachelorette. I'm probably gonna wear this and wedges. I don't wanna wear these, but I don't know if the sides are too much. I like them. Oh, this chick's bad. To Just go topless. <laughs> Just go topless. That's a terrible idea, Chelsea. Yeah. Why did we let you live with us? I feel like I'm going to Easter service. No, no, it looks bright. Thoughts on Britain's haircut? I think he was going for this weird Caesar look. Mm -hmm. Could that Jared's watch me anyway? Yeah. Yeah. Especially if she's with some other guy, that's gonna be real weird. You're about to freak out, dog. Oh, yeah. And then the boys are coming, Robbie and Jay. You're gonna love them. You and Robbie, oh my God, wait till you see them. They're like, Please. And I probably Did shouldn't it? ask you the next question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it better than sex with Alex? I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's really good. Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hey. You excited? Yeah. I'm so excited Victoria's coming. Yeah, you're. Yeah, like, who's this new character? Yeah, I'm so hyped. I'm excited to meet everyone and stuff, so I'm excited. Bet. You guys gonna cause some trouble? Yeah, like we did yeah. in college. Yeah, no, we definitely will cause trouble. How are you feeling about Kara being there? I mean, I don't like her. Like, after like hearing everything she said about me, like, I'm SpongeBob, like, I don't have curves. SpongeBob SquarePants, ugly ass bitch with her fake lip injections. Kelsey just explained exactly what we were trying to figure out. But she has, has no curves. Right, that's why she calls her SpongeBob. <laughs> oh. Like we were ever supposed to get that? No, I did not get, yeah. <laughs> I'm just fed up with her, I don't. Hey, Kelsey. It's Kelsey seems to bother Kara a lot. No, not really. Kara. You do. Really. You talk about her all the time. Ew. These are the option. beats I have to hear. It's your business to get involved with. Can you stop defending your ex, please? I'm not defending my ex at all. Okay, whatever. In any way. Stop talking about it. And I just don't want you to get involved with Kelsey and like her dumb either. Okay, do you believe this? Coming up. You're a That girl's audition did not go well. I cannot wait to watch your life like fall apart. You don't even have your GED. Ooh. She really felt. Yeah. Yeah. Cuts to the core. Except for the SpongeBob costume. Yeah. <laughs> 
these two are not dressed for this venue. <laughs> Gotta have him at your party. Everyone's supposed to bring a bottle of champagne. What's going on? Did you do that for me? I did it just for you, yeah. So did you guys hear that Juliet's bringing like her new boy toy? Yeah, Robbie. Yeah. He was like, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make fun of her for it. Alright. Enter Robbie. I know. His face is so wormy. His face is upsetting. Ugh. Ladies. Oh, so everyone had to wear a hat. This is from Amanda and I. This is from me and Amanda. You wanna be like, this is from I. People. I mean, I would maybe say that. Well, that's figured We're out. all, oh no. Ugh. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? What's up, squad? Great. Hi. What's up with you? Enjoying it. Are you so, going to be here all summer? Yeah. I'm going to, wait, 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 wait. Back like it that. up a little bit. What are your real intentions with Julia? What? <laughs> I'm a little worried that you guys are like moving really fast. I mean, you guys obviously. It seems like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, take things slow is the normal way, but like when you find someone that that connection's right there, it's like, what are you gonna do, turn it away? No. 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 You don't have to worry. I'm gonna treat her a lot better than the previous person. Worry. We've been told that before. Hold up, let me get up in it now. Cool. Well, Chloe, you, you guys aren't even friends. Yeah. They're really turning up the the butt B-roll, but not of the cast. Of other Like the people. cast was like, can you stop just showing straight up shots of my like mm -hmm. butt and boobs? I'm like, <laughs> yes, but we're gonna just do it of other people. <laughs> and she moved to LA and then she ended it with me randomly and I don't know why. That's just how Madison is. I don't wanna get in between you guys. All right, I'm gonna go. Bye. Are you a stranger? No, don't do it. How you been? Good. Well, he looks more bro -y. Yeah, I like his look. Now they're just friends. And Kara it's better than the queen. Scared over there with Kelsey. Kelsey has a nice touch. Like Kelsey has a great touch. I'm defending her against the SpongeBob. Oh program. yeah. If you ask me, she's envious because we all forget that Garrett was super in love with Kelsey at one point. What a little bitch! I can't. I can't. I feel like I haven't talked to him forever. It's been a while. It's been a while. You know Since I've been. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Not much. How's the family and all that? Pretty good. What well, work? Work's good. Yeah. Yeah. One word responses? Why are you being so weird? Uh, I mean, to be honest, like, Kara doesn't really want me to talk to you, so. Like, I can't just ask. You, how you been? For me right now, I'm just like working on like my relationship with Kara. You're and allowing her to control you. It's just more so I don't want okay. any more problems than there already are. Kara's I'm already started. created so many problems. Like she continues to make up about me and talk that like you've never even had my back with any of that. And it's then just, now you, I'm trying to be respectful. It's just you're being controlled by your girlfriend. It's just more so something I don't even want to like deal with. So okay, I'm gonna fine. go enjoy the party. Yeah, you probably should go. I'm gonna follow leave. her rules. Not. Kelsey, He's you're so not. immature. She's so immature. Yeah, Kelsey, take the high ground yeah. for once. No. <laughs> Just no. Straight up and shady skank. Like, I got a like it. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything, but I'm going to egg you on with my face. I can't find better words for her than a shady skank. Oh! It's, I can't even. Oh! oh my God. <laughs> Let's hear it. I'm gonna have to call you back. <laughs> Coming up. I actually know a lot about Robbie, and he seems phony as Phony. You keep talking on me. What else do you wanna say about me? Like, let's hear it. What else? Let's hear it. I mean, you're so insecure, you're like telling me how my lips injects this You have your own, and you get nose no, like, Why? Why? One, you're not my type of person. It is you're not mine either. And so right. what? Nobody cares. Ooh, so cares. what are you getting out of this? What are you getting out of me? Honey, we're not friends. 
You're a cheater and a liar. You are literally the shit. I cannot wait to watch your life like fall apart. Oh, thank you, honey. You don't even have your GED. Good luck. She's like an act. She, that was like so out of a movie. Yeah. Robbie, turn Come it up, on. turn it up. Please tell me you get the weird vibes that I get. Such creepy vibes. I just feel like he's so full of His personality is just, you could tell he's totally putting on a front. I'm a good guy. He has such a creepy smile. Right? Robbie reminds me of those like fire festival guys that like threw that giant party, but it ended up being like a total scam. Yeah, he seems like that type of person. You Fair. literally <laughs> nailed that. I just feel like he's totally. She's like, I know, I got it, I did it. I'm one of his influencers. Like, I feel like it's a little harsh to be like, I think he's no good for her, but I'm definitely like not over keeping my eye on him. Well, when are you ever wrong? Well, I know, right? <laughs> Juliet, come here. <laughs> Enter Juliet, bring in Juliet. Your boyfriend sucks. You remember this from last season? That's what we do. You seem like you're having a good time. I am, yeah. Especially nice with Robbie. Yes. We actually just talked to him kind for of a little bit. interrogated him a little bit. What'd you say? We didn't scare him away, don't worry. No, yeah, I just... I'm kind of. just asking genuine... Gen... <laughs> genuine. Genuine. Genuine general. Genuine. General. No, genuine. That's not a word. General? General. 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 Thank you. General question. Is she wasted? That was so embarrassing for her. I don't know. I just feel like he puts on like a really big front. So did he say anything in specific that pissed you off? Everything that came out of his mouth, it just seems like he's. Yeah, in particular. It's catching. <laughs> but it kind of works. Really nice. Seems like he's trying a little too hard to prove himself. Hey, well, we gotta give him a chance. Like, it seems a little fishy to me, and like, you know me, my intuition is almost always right, and I just, I don't wanna see you like fall too hard for a guy that's just like using you. Just give her a chance. I mean, I, I, I don't think you're wrong. Robbie is a weird dude for sure, but if you're in her position, just give her a chance. Yeah. Also, you don't you don't tell your best friend like what you think about their boyfriend right immediately. No. Like we just met six yeah. scenes ago. Yeah. You talk about it with you your girlfriends and then you decide. To say this to me while you're off hanging out with Alex again talk and being friends with him, even though all last summer you hated him. She does not need to be with you. And anybody who truly loves somebody doesn't talk to other people. I don't really talk to that bad. Yeah. Oh, Alex, you talk to yeah. her. We didn't like Alex last summer because he was hurting you. She looks then different. you guys mm -hmm. broke up, you moved on. It's a year later. Okay. We're tanner, we're blonder. You can do whatever you want with Alex. It's just I don't want to bring any of that into my life. My feelings about making sure that you're not going down a bad path with a new guy has nothing to do with Alex. This timing just seems off. Well, that's what friends do. Best friends, when they're concerned about their friends, they voice their opinion. We're not even best friends. We didn't talk all year. Mm. To me, he seems phony as Sorry. Off. Yeah, yeah. What the He just walked right uh, by Brandon. Yeah, and they made eye contact and walked by each other. Listen right now, man. To me, it's a whole bag of weird. How's that a bag of weird? That's bullshit. Don't come at me hard like this. Oh, a bag of weird. Feels real though. Yeah, love like it. I like that. Love it. Yeah. What's going on? Nothing good. Seems like a lot of tension. Beautiful yeah. night. Kelsey's a. Psycho, she's a liar and a cheater, and everybody calls her out, and she doesn't want to admit it to anybody. Why are you mad? You shouldn't go out of your way to like start arguments with a girl I'm that's not, not irrelevant. Why are you? That is that's irrelevant. Not irrelevant. <laughs> like, why are you so concerned on like what? You want to defend her? I, Do you want to defend your skanky ex-girlfriend? This is she's getting like too. This. Yeah. No way you didn't involve you yourself with. No like to put your two cents into anything because can I just like tell you something that I feel that you obviously don't understand when you dumped me I thought we were on top of the world so that was devastating it's not what I wanted to do You're, how the am I supposed to feel about that I'm sorry 
I'm sorry that I broke up with you. I'm sorry. But if you're trying to make things work and you want to be with somebody, you don't keep bringing that up. Let me just tell you how it looks on my end. It just seems like you're not putting any effort in. Because... No effort. I'm always there for you. I tell you you're beautiful. Yeah, you tell me I'm beautiful. and then All the I time, and you say with... that I don't. And then I show up with a new nose job, and you have nothing and to I say about it. And I told you. I didn't say anything, because you, you should know how. Right, that's like if you showed up with a buzz cut, and I said nothing about it. Kara. Obviously, I don't like it. That's a self-insecurity that I can't change. If you don't love yourself, then you can't love for me like what I what I tell you all the time. Well, defending yourself, Gary, you're in the wrong. No, no. I don't want to deal with this. I'm not dealing with this. Sorry. Yeah, this is about Kara's Yeah, because like that's one of those things you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Like if you say, oh my God, you look amazing, then you're being like, what was I not amazing before? Like, oh, I guess you really think I did this. And then if you, if you don't say anything, then it's like, oh my God, how could you not say something? It's not, he's not doing anything wrong though. It's just an awkward situation. And she's being dramatic. For the first time in my life, I'm with a good guy. Robbie, button your shirt and take your sunglasses off your necklace. Blush. Robbie, you're 39. Yeah, not, not even 32. Everyone wants to see the good in my life, oh, especially Robbie. my old best friend, Chloe. Oh my god, we're going to Greece! Oh my god. He said yes. <laughs> you're kidding. I told you I'd take you to Greece. What do you think? I'm gonna be skeptical, but that's the kind of person I'm gonna be. When I hear Greece, I never think of like Greece like from a car, but now I am. You know oh really? I mean? Yeah. When you hear like the country, like yeah, I'm never like ew, like Greece. But, yeah. But for some reason, I was like ew, Greece. Greece has done so much to separate themselves from that world. Right. You yeah. would never yeah. associate good them. For, good for Greece. Yeah. It's like two weeks away. Oh In the other marketing. God. He has to prove himself. It's true, everybody has to prove themselves in CSP. Got a storyline, ladies. <laughs> yeah. You're the best. This is insane! Wicked, 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 wicked drinking. Yeah. We're going to Greece in two weeks. Oh, baby. In the pool. Oh my god, she just, Hi. he's dying. Sure. Everyone is quick to judge my new boyfriend, but Madison's new guy is our old boss. Hey, how are you? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Are you surprised? What's happening? Are you kidding me? His ass is what, 35? 40? I don't know. Hey, bro. You're showing up with Madison right now, man. I don't know, I don't know how that feels to you, but to me it's a whole bag of weird. How's that a bag of weird? You guys weren't together. Hey, come on, man. What do you mean? You weren't together. That was the girl that I loved. What are you talking about? Yeah. That means that, that you had your sights on her for a long time, right? No, I left. I was in California. Bullish. Whatever, dude. Don't come at me hard like this, dude. Don't come at me hard like this. Fish. Ooh. Is that Ish real? Was ready. I just want truth, Ish. You got the truth. This is a joke, Ish. Bring it I, down. Get that spin yeah, off your oily, face. Oily. This Ish, I just I'm telling you, bring it down. You were overseeing this whole two years ago. Are you serious, Ish? You were giving me two over years ago. You were overseeing this whole. Do you want me to stop it? Because I'm. Yeah, not, yeah, I want to stop it. Weird. <laughs> to respect her feelings, she don't want to be with you. Uh, no, this is so uncomfortable. I come in here, everybody's happy, and you're in my face pushing me. If I was pushing you, I'd be. Pushing you get? You, right? Okay, I think this is enough. All I gotta say. Let's be chill. Everybody here thinks this is weird. No, that's not true. Everyone. This is like weird. I want to get a drink. I want to get a drink. Yes. You want to get a drink? I chill. I'm, I'm fine. Am I not fine? I'm fine. No, I know you. Is that not weird? Is that not weird? Weird. 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 Uh, this is a weird situation. It is. He's a, a lot okay. older. You're not in you it though. I'm in it, Chloe. I'm in that situation. How would you feel? I wouldn't have cheated on her in the first place. Oh. Uh. It's all good. Let him. Let him be. Whatever. Yeah, I'm very happy for you guys. Thank you. I never. Oh my god. Let's do some shots.
Yeah, it could Great. be. Great, yeah. yeah. Polly wouldn't be invited. He got the drink thrown in his face oh, the last time we saw him. But in the back of my mind, I know Alex is still out there. Because no matter how hard you try to bury oh, the past, typing with the nails, shoot me in the brain. It will always come back to haunt you. Not for long. Oh, Alex being like, I'm gonna murder him. Yeah. Please <laughs> <laughs> kick him out. So I'm gonna put him on a bus. Um, all right, Major Sode. Major um, Sode. What do we think about Robbie? What do we think about Ish? What do we think about Brandon's hair? What do we think about my hair? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, those are really the most important things. Do you want to say goodbye? That's what we do here, you know? Bye. Bye. Thanks for having us. Thanks for keeping me on track. Appreciate you. Appreciate that kind of stuff.